Hello friends in this part we will discussing on one more CRUD operation by using Ajax and Code Igniter framework. In this part we will delete or remove records from MySQL table and Code Igniter application by using Ajax without page refresh. In previous part we have already made discussion on how to update the Reddit MySQL data by using Ajax and Code Igniter web application. In most of any web application insert update and delete is the common operation, but this operation we make in Code Igniter framework by using Ajax jQuery method. In this application we have used data tables jQuery plugin for displaying data in tabular format with data order, search, and pagination and in this table we have also add update and delete data button link also. We have also used bootstrap models for insert and update of data by using Ajax. So we can do all operation on single page, we do not have to go to on another page for any operation. So this is our single page CRUD application made by Ajax and Code Igniter framework. In previous video we have already make a database connection and we have already set base URL for this application. This is our CRUD database and in this database we have one table users and in this table we have already inserted some records in this table. In previous video we have already load users data and data tables with update and delete button link. In previous video we have seen that in update button we have add class update and in delete button we have add delete class. When we have click on update button then after we have get particular user and from the attribute of that update button. Same way we have to done for delete button, in that button we have also store user id and delete button id attribute. So we have go to jQuery code and here we have write dollar document selector dot on method and under this method we have write click event, delete button class name delete and function. When we have click on delete button then this code will execute. Under this we have write variable user id is equal to dollar this selector dot attribute method and under this method we have write id attribute. By using this method we can get the value of id attribute and store into this user id variable. This way we can get any user id. After this we have write if statement with confirm message like are you sure you want to delete this, if we have click on delete button then message has been pop up on web page with two button like ok and cancel. If we have click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and it will remove records from table and suppose we have click on cancel button then it will execute else block of code and then it will not perform any action. Suppose we have click on cancel button then no action will perform and it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write return false statement. But suppose we have click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write Ajax method with URL option set to base URL function with curd controller name slash delete single user function. We have send requested to this method. In second option we have write method and here we have set post method for send data to the server. In third option we have write data. In this option we can define which data you want to send to server, user we want to send user id data send to server. And in Ajax method lastly we have write success callback function, if we have send request succeeds then this function has been called, this function will receive data from server and stored under this data argument. Under this function we have write alert message with data, this will pop up alert message with text like which data it was received from server. Then after we want to refresh data tables data, so we have write data table variable dot ajax dot reload method, this method will refresh data tables data and display updated data on web page. Now we have go to CRUD controller and on that controller we have make delete single user function, this function will remove particular user data from table. 
Under this function we have write dollar this with loader class object load with model method. Under this method we have to define which model you want to load under this function. Here we have write crud model. So in this function we can load all method of this crud model. Then after we have write dollar this with crud model with delete single user function with one argument and in this argument we have write dollar post user id variable which we have send an ajax method to this function. This we will make under crud model. And lastly in this function we have write echo statement with data deleted text. This text will be displayed when it will be removed records from table. Now we have go to crud model and under this model we have write delete single user function with one argument like dollar user id variable. This will delete particular user data from table. Under this function we have write dollar this with database class object db with where method with two argument. In first argument we have write a table column name and in second argument we have write dollar user id variable. Then after we have write dollar this with database class object db with delete method and under this method we have write table name users. This code will produce this delete query like delete from users where it is equal to dollar user id. It will execute this query and it will remove data from table. So friends our code is ready for removing or deleting of data by using Ajax in Code Igniter framework. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that users data and query data tables plugin with data we have can also see two button like update and delete when we have click on delete button. Then it has been pop up message like are you sure you want to delete this with two button ok and cancel. When we have click on cancel button, then no action perform, but when we have click on again delete button then it again pop up message, but now we have click on ok button, then it has been pop up message like data deleted and in data tables data also have been updated. So here we can remove or delete data without page refresh. So our CRUD system is ready and it is made by using data tables and bootstrap models with Ajax in Code Igniter application. In this system we have retried and load data in data tables. In this system we can add data by using bootstrap models by using Ajax, so we can insert data into MySQL table without page refresh and after this that data has been displayed in query data tables plugin without page refresh. Here we have already load update and delete button with data and data tables and when we have click on update button then that particular data has been load in bootstrap models forms and we can update data by using Ajax. And for removing and deleting records, we have also used Ajax. So this way we have made CRUD system in code igniter by using Ajax with data tables and bootstrap models. So if you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.